This three kilometer long earthen berm runs through an area of Indiana called Eagle Marsh. The wetland covers about 290 hectares. The rivers that connect to it during high waters eventually reach the Great Lakes. And that's the problem, says Betsy Yankoliak, director of the Little River Wetlands Project. Basically, a whole bunch of federal stakeholders and state stakeholders and members in our community came together to try to figure out a way to separate the basin, to stop the carp that's exotic from Asia from moving in to Lake Erie. Asian carp are already in the nearby Wabash River. During heavy rainfall or rapid snow melt, the marsh connects it to the Maumee River, which empties into Lake Erie, which in turn is connected to all the other Great Lakes. If the Asian carp reached the lakes, scientists say it could be disastrous for the entire ecosystem. They're voracious eaters. They eat the microscopic organisms, the plankton, in our river systems and in our lakes. That leaves native species without enough resources to survive. The berm will ultimately prevent the carp and more than 200 other invasive species from entering the Great Lakes, where they can ruin everything from the barge industry to commercial fishing. Initially, a movable chain link fence was installed as a stopgap, but engineer Dwayne Reithman, who designed the berm, says they knew something more had to be done. That involved overcoming some large physical hurdles. First and foremost, it was working in a marsh. We had restored it as a wetland. It was now moving a large volume of dirt, basically, in a marsh. The project was further complicated by the wettest spring in recorded Indiana history but a dry fall allowed engineers to finish the majority of the project ahead of schedule. State conservation agents and the Little River Wetlands Project will now maintain the site. We will keep it mowed and then check it for burrowing animals to make sure that no groundhogs or anything are causing problems with the berm. The final steps of the project include adding a walking path to the top of the berm and planting more native vegetation, both of which will be completed this spring. For VOA News, I'm Erica Celeste in Fort Wayne, Indiana.